to my revision channel so today I'm going to be showing you how I organize my folders so I have like a system and it works really really well so I'm going to show you my day folder and um, one of my um, AS folders that's like finished if that makes sense and hopefully that will show you like how I organize my folders and like my notes within my folders There's so many of you asked for this video so if you are excited for this video do give it a big thumbs up and I'm just gonna get straight into it so this is my day folder it's from mr. wonderful shop and you can get folders like this in English mine's in Spanish just because I do Spanish so I thought I'd get it in Spanish but this is a small roll bound ring binder folder that's got four because I prefer the four because I feel like it has less chance of ripping your paper if that makes sense I don't know if that if that makes sense but like because this four you've got extra security with your stuff so I take one of these to school every day I don't take a big ring binder folder I literally just take this folder and I'm going to show you what's inside so when you've opened it up you can see that I have in the corner a post-it note and it basically says Eve Bennett year 13 day folder and then my school and my phone number obviously I've blocked out my school and my phone number the post-it note itself is very cute I don't know if you can see it but it's actually really really cute but obviously I can't show it you properly because I would be giving away my address and my phone number and then I have my dividers so as you can see on top of my divider I have a printed copy of my timetable this would be this year's timetable but our school is so unorganized that they don't give us our timetable till the first day back so I'm not entirely sure how they expect us to know what books to bring but nonetheless here is my timetable from last year and each lesson is colour coded so last year I had politics, I had Spanish, I had English, I had German and then the pink is PSHE um, I'm gonna like do it neater this year because this is literally a mess but yeah I'll have, um, usually I'll have it like this way and I'll have like two because I have a two week timetable but you get my drift, I always put my timetable where I can see it because my planner this year doesn't have a thing for my timetable so then I have a set of five dividers. So, basically, these were 40p from Black Worlds in Exeter, but you can just get a set of five dividers for literally like 40p anywhere. So I have paper, English literature, German, Spanish, and other. So in my paper folder, I have, huh, surprise, surprise, paper. I've actually been using this paper that I got with the folder. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got like, bit at the top for your title and then it's square but it's just really easy to write on so I also have lined paper as well but this is where I keep my paper I always make sure I have a lot of paper with me because if I'm working it's just really easy to open it up and the first thing you see is paper and you could also maybe put like colour paper in here if you use it stuff like that and then I have my English literature section so this my basic premise with this whole day folder thing is that I will bring in the work that we've been doing that week in the lessons so as soon as I feel like my work that we're doing is not going to be needed then I'll take it out and put it in my normal folder so for example if I did this on Monday's lesson I'd bring it to Thursday's lesson if I did this on Thursday's lesson I'd bring it to next Monday's lesson but then if I thought that we're not going to use this again I would take it out I basically keep stuff in here as long as we're using it in the lessons so here I've just got some work that we were doing like in the last lesson before we broke up from school so naturally I'm thinking that's going to be carried over into the first lesson when we go back um, same for German so this I keep in there for a while because it's the overview of my research project so I just keep that in there because I need it all the time so if there's stuff that you need all the time of course keep it in there so like I always need this all the time I always need my irregular verbs all the time so I'll just keep them in there but then if you go back here this I just printed off last time and like I don't need that and I don't need that all the time so as soon as I'm done with that I'll just put it in my research project folder and then Spanish this is what I did last lesson um, I don't know whether this will be relevant next lesson but you get my drift that is how I do it so I'll keep one or two or three or however many sheets we've done in that lesson in my folder until I re realise that they're no longer relevant to what we're doing in lessons um, it's just easier that way and if there are sheets that you always use so like for me I've been using this all the time I just keep it in there if you've got like a chemistry equation sheet keep it in there you know you feel me just you get my drift then I have other so in other I will put like school stuff that's not um, like subject related so here is my mind map if you haven't seen the video on how to make this mind map 
it will be on screen at the end of the video but basically I will put stuff in here that I don't think would fit in these dividers but that I need so I need this because I'm doing an assembly on it when I get back to school I'll put letters in here I'll put um, like admin stuff so like prom stuff or yearbook stuff or notes from deputy head meeting you feel me and then I also always keep two plastic wallets in the back because you never know when you're going to get like a certificate or something that you don't want to crease or something that you don't want to hole punch so I'll always keep two of these in the back and that is essentially my day folder. I'm telling you now, this system works like a charm and you will never ever go astray with the system. And all you have to carry to school is a folder this size. It's great. <laughs> So now I'm going to show you one of my actual AS folders. This is my AS English Literature folder. It is a typical pucker pad folder. I don't write on them because I want to use them again because they're nice folders. And, and I've just got what subject it is and everything. And then here I have a... What are these called? Like the post-it note things that are like... That you put in your folder. Anyway, as you can see, I've used these quite a lot. But with English, I always find myself putting post-it notes on things. So I just keep this in the front of my folder. And then when you move this, the first thing I have in every single one of my subject folders is the specification. So this is my A2 spec. Um, don't ask me why it's in my S folder. Um, but the general gist is you always have to have the specification in the front of your folder and I find that if you have the specification right in the front of your folder you will never forget it. I always put essential sheets before the first divider. So like my specification will go here, my reading log, um, like any exam technique things that I always use, sheets that I'm always coming back to, they go behind the specification with the first divider. So in this folder <laughs> I have a ten, I think I have ten, 12, 10, 10, 10 dividers in this folder, don't know whether I use them all or not, but essentially as you can see, they have an order and a logic to them, I promise, so I study four texts at a S level, but those texts themselves have a lot of notes, so I like to sort the notes depending on what they are, so basically these two are Gatsby, these two are Chaucer, these two are Tempest, and these two are Streetcar, Sounds good? Yeah. But basically, I couldn't have just had a Chaucer, a Gatsby, a Tempest, a Streetcar. There would just been too many notes and I wouldn't have been able to find things easily. So what I have are my class notes in one section and my past papers in the next section. That is how I do it. So that's class notes, past papers, class notes, past papers, class notes, past papers, class notes, past papers. <gasps> Woo, try saying that ten times. So for Gatsby, for example, if I was to like go through, these are like all of my notes from this year, um, like things that I've just found useful, um, things that I did during the year that I found rubbish, I've just put in like my extra folder that I don't use, but all of the ones that I actually use like for revision, for writing essays, you feel me, they're literally all such a mess, but you are getting what I'm doing, like notes, notes, more notes, notes, so many notes. Anyway, and then if you notice here, I'll find it a second, there is a marker like within this section. So basically I didn't want to have three dividers for each text so I just use a little post-it note as a marker within a marker. So this section here are all critical material, so articles that I've read, things that I found interesting, that I can reread for to revise and get different points of view. The same goes for Chaucer, for example. So I have literally all of my notes from the entire year in this bit, and then when you get to the critics section, I have critics articles, you feel me, and then I have past papers with the ultimate Chaucer past paper guide as to how to write them all of the past papers that I've ever written, ever, and then I have the same for The Tempest, so I have all of my notes, all of the critics, all of that, then I have past papers, all of that sort of stuff, you feel. Basically, I just have it all, so it's so easy for me to get to, like, if I don't have organisation, I can't find things easy and I get stressed, Another thing that I have in here, actually, is past paper plans because those are a very good way to revise for English, so I'll just have those in there too. 
And then the same thing, I have for streetcar. Streetcar, I have a lot of critical material um, because it's my coursework. So naturally, I've accumulated quite a lot. And then I also have the mark schemes and lots of past papers that I've done. And yeah. And then as with my day folder, I always have plastic wallets in the back in case I get something really pretty and I don't want to like hole punch it because I get really stressed about hole punching things that are pretty. But yeah, now you can see how I organise my folders. If you want to know like how I write my notes, I do have a note writing system. I haven't got it in this folder but I do have one. So if you want to know that then give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye guys!